Hey guys, welcome back. What you're looking at is the very first aluminum test cut. And let me give you a little bit of background into why we are cutting this uh, aluminum piece. Our CNC machine arrived about a week ago and we put it together uh, and everything works fine. But it appears that there is a gap on the left side of about an inch and a half where you can't cut. There's uh, an area they call the envelope where the cutting tool is allowed to cut. And apparently they had made some modifications to the machine uh, over the course of its development and they decided to bring the gantry down and in doing so we lost about an inch and a half of cutting area. It within that certain envelope. So, um, my temporary fix, they are working on a fix for this. And uh, as soon as they have a fix, they'll be sending out the parts to each customer that purchased this machine uh, absolutely for free. And I want to go ahead and say this on record. The company that I purchased this machine from is a fantastic company. Uh, the, the the level of support and knowledge that these guys have is absolutely unprecedented. It's 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 amazing. Um, these guys have gone so far as to call me and walk me through uh, each step uh, that I was having trouble with. You know, a lot of companies wouldn't go that far, and uh, I, I I really do appreciate that. And uh, if you're ever looking for a CNC machine, give these guys a call. Take a look at their website. They have some great machines and just fantastic customer support. Anyhow, back to the machine. So there's this gap that needs to be made up somehow. And uh, I came up with a way to move the router over about an inch and a half. And... I decided to do this because it was the easiest way to uh, sort of eliminate this gap. But it's not a permanent fix. So uh, once these guys have the permanent fix, they'll be shipping it out to all their customers free of charge. So uh, what you're looking at is the first aluminum piece that we've ever cut. And it went quite well. The only issue that I had was the fact that it left sort of a swirl mark on the finish. So I think what's causing that is the feed rate. Now, I, I have a feed rate of 30, and that's 30 inches per minute. Um, a lot of people say to slow that down, I'm going to try uh, something like maybe uh, 15 or even lower and see if the finish is, is any better. We'll see how it goes. Uh, when you're dealing with really thin tool bits, like an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch, uh, you really need to slow things down. Otherwise, uh, those tools will either break or uh, you'll get a bad finish like I did. I think the next time that we cut this or the next time that we cut a part or a test piece, um, I'll go ahead and uh, choose a different feed rate, uh, a slower feed rate, and then uh, see how it works out. But uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, little test cut. It's not exactly very exciting. At least you get to see that we're finally cutting uh, aluminum pieces. And once we get a few more test pieces under our belt, uh, we'll be moving on to the regular cuts, the production cuts. So we're really looking forward to that. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you next time.